It's day six of Vlogmas, but this really isn't a Vlogmas post. Nonetheless, I wanted to share a big project that got finished today. At long last, my garden arbor is complete. It's a project that has been a year and a half in the making. I started designing and making plans for the garden in 2021. My youngest son and I built the first garden bed and the first half of the arbor in October of that year. This spring, the shed got moved and then we added the second garden bed and built the second half of the arbor. Despite taking lots of time choosing straight lumber, within days of setting the posts on the second side of the arbor, we realized there was a problem. The previously straight posts began to twist and turn. Because of that, we decided to wait to finish the top until we could figure out a solution. As the summer progressed, we could see that post bending back further and further. Eventually, I had to detach the trellis on it as the movement was so great it was beginning to split the trellis. That post ended up curling back over a foot by the end of summer. The other one was twisting in a spiral and it was taking the rest of the trellis with it. We weren't able to tackle the job of removing the posts and replacing them until a couple of weeks ago when we pulled both posts and replaced them with nice straight ones. I did not get any film footage of that, but this is a picture of what it was like when we were finished. Today my son and his girlfriend came over to help finish the top of the arbor. It was a sunny day but chilly. First we had to secure those top sideboards at the correct height. We did that and then the posts were too tall so we cut them off with a sawzall. It was time to put the trellis back in place. We had to trim it a small amount as it was a quarter inch too wide. Figuring out how to put it all back together was the hardest part. Then with everything nice and level we got to work on the long sideboards. First deciding on how long to make them, then cutting them to length, marking them, and cutting the curves on the ends. We attached those to the uprights, making sure they were level. We were glad to have three of us for this part of the job, two to hold the board and one to hand up the tools and supplies as they were needed. We gathered all the 2x2 two two boards for the top rails, and we cut the first one and checked it, and found out it was too short. So we measured and checked again and then remarked all the boards and cut them to the correct length. Then it was time to decide how to space them. We had built a similar arbor at my previous house, but the rails were too close together and I was really looking forward to wider spacing. Once we got the end and middle boards secured, it was easy to figure out the math to space the rest evenly. I'm not good on ladders, so I was grateful for my son being willing to get the big ladder out and do the gymnastics required to screw the rails onto the top boards of the arbor. While he did that, I cleaned everything up and put it away so he wouldn't have to do it in the dark. How wonderful to see it all come together after all this time. In the spring, there's one last task to complete. I hope to paint the arbor white as I love the look of a white arbor with roses on it. I'm so grateful to my son for all his hard work helping me bring this garden and arbor to life and to all the others who have helped along the way. I'm so pleased with the arbor and I can't wait for the roses that I planted on either side of it to grow up over it in the coming years. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me today and watching the completion of my garden arbor. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.